Hi, welcome to Phil's Kitchen. Today we'll be making a barbacola grilled cheese. Today we'll be needing barbacola, fresh, nice white bread, a cutting board, butter, cheese, a spatula, and a fresh non-stick pan. Let's go ahead and get started by cutting the meat. Okay, let's go ahead and cut the meat. Grab some meat. We'll go ahead and grab some barbacola meat. Make sure not to grab that much. We'll be using this chunk today. First, start by slicing it, slicing it into halves. Then into quarters for each. Then into little mini, mini slices like this. Now that we got the meat set, let's go ahead and cut some more meat. It seems like this is not enough meat. Create as much meat as you want on your sandwich. I'll be using less meat today. But for now... But for now, you can just use what I'm using for meat. Once you got all of it, we're ready to start cooking. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first go ahead and start your stove by holding down, turn it all the way to low. Let it sit for a while and go ahead and get ready. Okay, we want to cook these as slow as possible, so let's go ahead and start. Start by placing the meat. And why don't we need cooking spray? Well, we're just going to, the, the chicken fat acts as like a butter. The, the chicken fat, or whatever you meat you're using, and the fat acts like a butter. So we can just basically use that. So put all the meat on, and then there's actually a trick. First, you can use you can use a pan top, and to let it know it is actually cooking, all you have to do is put it on, on there. And then it'll start by steam cooking for a little bit as a couple of minutes. So let's go ahead and wait a couple of minutes. And I will, and let's go ahead and wait. All right, let's go ahead and put some cheese on. I'm using HEB's, I'm using HEB's Hill Country Fair White American Cheese Breast Slice. So let's go ahead and go ahead. You'll need two slices of cheese. And I'll show you how to put it on. So first, put one on one side like this. So there's still a little bit of, of bread right there. And then put the other on the opposite side like this. So like it's hanging off. Okay, let's go ahead and go back to our chicken. Take the pan with your and use your stool. Then, then slightly put it on one side. Make sure to put it on one side and not the other. Guess what? You're done with that. And leave the butter in there. 
Now it's time to flip it to the other side. Flip it to the other side. And you're ready to start cooking your sandwich. So we of course have that butter sticking in there. Let's go ahead and start by go ahead and placing our sandwich in the middle. A trick. Here is a trick to be able to get and get your sandwich down. Let's go ahead and grab our spatula. You can go ahead and pat it down and then place the top on it for a second. And wait about 10 seconds while that crisps up. Like about 1 minute or 10 seconds to wait that crisp up and get that golden flavor of things. Okay, let's go ahead and check it. Is it still not working? And let me tell you something if it's still not working. You can take the sandwich off. To do it, you can always take the sandwich off. Take the sandwich off. And if that's not working, and you can always add more butter. And butter can equal to more quality recipes. So get your butter out and add it to the pan. You can go ahead and use your same knife if you want. But today, but I'm going to be using the same knife. And so I'll be using the same knife. Cut a small slice, slice and take it out. Add it to the pan. Put it straight to the middle. And just, and as you can see, it's right at the middle. And just pop it right on there. And guess what? This will golden the golden color of it. Let's go and wait two seconds. Let's go and wait like 30 seconds. Okay, it's time to flip it now. Grab your spatula and go ahead and get the bottom of it. Then pull one finger like that. And then pull it to the side like that. If it goes off of the edge, you can see it. Look at that golden crispy color. That looks good, right? Yeah, it does. Wait for the same amount of seconds. Same amount of seconds as that side begins to cook at its golden brown until it's golden brown like we have here. Okay, it's time to flip it now. Let's go ahead and get started. Do the same trick and then go ahead and put your finger on it and put your finger on it and we'll be now turning the camera bringing this golden crisp sandwich see it and you can also see that the cheese is done if the, if, if you can also see the cheese droopling down put it on put it on and you're all ready now go ahead and turn turn off your stove. That's gonna be it. Now let's go ahead and test this sandwich. All right, time for testing. Let's go ahead and get started. Cut just in the middle, but you can just go ahead and stick your knife in and pull out. That way, so you can get that crisp down. And then put your crisp down and the 
let's go ahead and see this cheese. Look at that. It looks great. Thanks for watching how to make a barbacola grilled cheese with me. And thanks for using Phil TV to learn how to make it. Try it. Let's go ahead and try it. And it's nice and golden crispy. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.